Okay, we have already learned how to design the uh, common source amplifier, which is self bias, right? So you can watch the previous video for the simulation. But it will be interesting if we can try to understand um, how, I mean, try to do some hand calculation to check if the simulation is correct, which will give us more insights about its performance. So let me open the previous uh, project. So open. Uh, I'm going to open this CS, right? And I need to open the schematic. I want to view the schematic, right? And then I uh, use a schematic XL, right? I use the, uh, remember it's lab eight underscore test was the library I created, which attached to the cadence 45 nanometer PDK. And then the cell is CSM, right? So I open it. Again, I maximize it and to see uh, the whole thing, I try to fit into screen, I press F and then you zoom in and that was the one that we designed earlier, right? So uh, let's uh, run the simulation one more time, okay? So I'm going to launch and then uh, look at uh, ADE GXL or, or ADE XL, doesn't matter, let me just use ADE XL. I'm going to open the existing wheel, which is which was safe before, right? Because now I just want to uh, get the result ASAP. Then I say, okay, right? all this license issue, I just uh, say, okay. And these were the results that I got earlier, right? It doesn't hurt, uh, I try to run it one more time. So I, I will uh, just, uh, just press this button, right? The uh, green arrow, and then it is running again. And this pop up. Right, when it is done, there's some warning, which is okay. And then you see this curve, right? So I can double click this icon and then I see, see this game. Now let's take a look uh, how to understand this uh, curve, right? First of all, uh, it will be easier if I try to look at the gain at this uh, mid, -gain, mid, uh, mid band region, which is let's say about uh, 10, uh, 100 kilohertz. It's about 7.5, 7.6, 7.7, right? So how does that make sense, right? As we said earlier, uh, when, let me uh, grab the picture and then we can try to annotate in the uh, Paint shop, right? The paintbrush, right? So this is the uh, uh, circuit. So does that make sense? So at high temperature, at, at high frequency or the mid band frequency, we know that this capacitor is designed to be shorter, right? So this is shorter, right? And we also expect this one is large enough so that it doesn't have a, a large effect. But anyway, because this is shorter, I do get the V in apply directly to the gate. Okay, let me fill up the region with uh, this uh, black color. Okay, right. So what is the gain of the transistor? I mean, yeah, the gain, right? Of the circuit of the common source. It must be negative GM RD parallel R0, okay? Now, if this is, if we assume this is large, we can ignore it, right? So our goal is to find out what is GM, what is R0, and for RD, I know it is 65 kilo ohm as given in our design, right? So let's see if that is the case. So I'm going back to the simulation, and then I try to see if, uh, I think when we run it, we did not save the, DC biasing point. Let me see if we did that, right? So I go to here and then uh, we did not do DC actually, right? Because we were doing the AC. I need to double click this one instead, right? And uh, we, we did not save the biasing point. Actually, I don't know if I can see it. Let's just quickly take a look. I'm going to right click like what we did earlier, annotation. And then, yeah, we don't have the DC bias uh, the operating condition, right? So I need to do a simulation on this. So I'm going to uh, double click here and then I just add a AC, a DC, right? I, I'm going to save the biasing point 
and then say okay right and then i click this one and i will run it okay so when it is done i go back to this transistor and now uh hopefully i will see it i'm going to right click and notate and then dc operating point right so you see what is gm gm is 192 micro okay so i'm going to write here gm this is rd right 65 gm is 192 uh, right micro siemens right then how about rd right so uh we just repeat what we did in the previous video uh, that we do the biasing point and this time we need to uh, do some uh, setup right uh, we do this right click annotate setup and we will choose this device which is uh, Amos and then we are going to double click this one we want to add one over GDS okay and just say okay then it is 141 kilo ohm Okay, so R0 is 141 kilo ohm, which is good, right? We want the RD to dominate, right? So now let's do some calculation, right? I can just uh, run the Excel. And now I'm going to try what is uh, the RD parallel R0. Of course, it is equal to 1 over the whole thing, 1 over RD, 65 plus 1 over R0, 141, and they're all in kilo ohm, right? So it's 44 kilo ohm, right? So the whole thing is negative uh, GM192 micro semen times 44 kilo ohm, right? So what is this? Equal to 192 times 44, right? And, but this is in mid, this gives us the mini, right? Because this is 1e minus 6, this is 1e3. Micro is 1e minus 6, this is one, uh, 10 to the power negative 3, right? So I need to divide the whole thing by 1000, right? So then it is normal. So this gives me 8.5. The gain is 8.5, but by this hand waving calculation. And what's the gain we got again? We got the gain we got was. Um, about 7.6, so it's pretty close, right? It's very close to our hand calculation, right? And why it is lower than expected, right? You can discuss in your lab report. And one reason is because this is not infinity. The RG, the RG here is not infinity, right? So you actually reduce the effective resistance. Okay, that is one, okay?